But she doesn't prepare spells, she can use them at will, but. Yeah. Oh. She has it available. Spontaneous. Really? Let's see, given how I've just been taught the rules of how crossbow firing while prone works. Let's see here. Swift action to uh, activate Acquisitioner's Luck. Uh, standard action to... We're down here on the ground. There's Drow Warrior 6 there. Hi, how you doing? How's your family? I just saw your mother while I was unconscious. And let me tell you, she has really let herself go. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? My feelings are hurt. Uh, what? Negative 8? Uh, you are. Yeah, your dex is still at zero. Oh, you're still uh, for some reason counted. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, did you change? Did you just right-click state and get rid of unconscious? Because in that case, your stat is wrong. Uh, I, I guess I'll clear my states and then make myself prone again, and that we'll, works. we'll try re-rolling. <laughs> yeah, you also press your yeah, you equipment back. The on. The what? Uh, what you have to put equipment back on, by the way. Uh, there is a uh, there is a, a red button in the character sheet uh, group that's called active mods. Ah, okay. That's what it turns on. That's where you have all the spells and such. Pre. I go ahead and, and redress that, myself. Like unconscious and stuff like that. I still didn't redress myself. Whatever. Condition. I'll dress myself in between turns. Let's try that again. No, not attack yourself, Grimoth. This fucking framework. <laughs> it's change. I, I I cleared everything and is it, um, it might be apl applying the melee penalty even though you're not in melee. Whatever, I missed. Okay. Move on. <laughs> well, it's said that you are both prone and unconscious. That's true. It is hard to hit something if you're laying down and not thinking. Uh, not with a crossbow usually. No, no, a crossbow. It's usually yeah. it, it, It's irrelevant. It's fine. Go Whatever. On. Um. Hmm. 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 to reload Grospo. It's a mess. And the mess. Right. So, how are you feeling, good sir? <laughs> Having a good day? No. Actually. I assume I can't charge like that. No, you can't charge the mushroom. How's that? Fine. How are you doing, good sir? I thought you wanted some company. Hello, Sakari. Arrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds better. Sounds like Scooby Doo. Mine or yours? Mine. I was trying to go for Scooby Doo. Tristan. Uh, yes. Since they're all in melee now, doesn't really matter, but I should go for it. Maybe you can kill the weak one. Both weak. Uh, they are both, pretty much. Boop. Hey, it's still a hit. Mm -hmm. Did you apply that he was in close combat? I sure did. Okie doke. With one damage enough. One damage. It's not enough. He's like, ow. Blanking. <laughs> it's like, sorry. Zakari is indeed flanking. It's just a plight. Boop. It's flanking! Oh. Hell yeah! Zakari, oh. so actually, first hit, if the first hit kills him, Zakari so can technically five foot step and can attack the other guy. What other guy? True. Oh, well, you sure. Mid attack, you can five foot step there and attack the other guy. Yeah, but then it would be a 23 and still be it. Yeah. Yeah, the point is 23. The point is, would six damage have killed that guy? Uh, yes. Then six damage on that guy. <laughs> He's like, Rawr! one throw down and jam horns with the other. Well, that was good. Combat good over. boy. I'll pick you, jump me. Come on. Well, uh, feels like she had a lot of pent up energy that's now gone. Really? She feels relaxed now getting all that channeling done. Really, quote has been met. <laughs> the blood toll <laughs> has been paid. Exactly. Yeah. So, where on the map are we again? Uh, tiles. See. Uh, oh, loading the map takes forever. Uh, thirteen oh seven, thirteen oh eight. 
That's right, you're in that area. I, I assume it would be unusual for drow hunting parties from buffers to be here. Uh, that is quite far into the jungle, yes. Uh, normally, I mean, you have been uh, with a group once that sort of got into this area, but it is quite far from the domains. Usually they don't stray too far away from the entrances. Roughly three hexes out from an entrance would be like a likely spot to meet a drone patrol. That is nice information. Yeah, Zinn overlooking the carnage will probably point out that drow hunting parties don't usually go this, this far, and he thinks they might have had some other motivation than just hunting, whatever that might be. So, it looks like people are looking at corpses. Loot. Looking, I wouldn't say looking so much as picking up and slamming repeatedly into the ground. <laughs> as you Mary is uh, doing something similar currently, uh, cutting away some skin uh, in patches from this, uh, this person. We're I see. Man. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, you know, he didn't have... He, en he enjoyed being in a bit of a fight, but he didn't enjoy the hits he's taken. So he, you know, he's going to vent this a little bit by taking take one of these people and just slicing their heads clean off their bodies. God, you're so weird, all of you. <laughs> I'm, not like, taking, I'm not taking the head with me, I'm just chopping it off. Then just contemplating the situation. Meanwhile, everyone else is just <laughs> playing the bonus. Yeah. Just, just look at Sin, isn't it? I don't want to be left. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be left out. She goes over and and gives her best kick at at that guy. <laughs> you could ask his back his face. <laughs> yeah, you certainly kick him. I mean, he doesn't really oppose you in any way. She goes, ow. Oh. <laughs> just rubbing his non-existent beard where he thinks about things. You're oh. <laughs> He's thinking, I wish I had a beard. What sort of armor <laughs> are these things wearing? Uh, they are wearing. Each one has a giz arm mm -hmm. and a crossbow. Mm -hmm. uh, you can collect uh, uh, one extra dose of poison from each of them. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, they have. Oh, let's see here. Uh, they have leather armor Dude. made from auric hide. Pretty uh, high armor class on these guys for only leather armor. Yeah, these were uh, these were actually quite well trained. Uh, these are not the sort of rebel that you have uh, encountered before, or the what the that the Baroness sent with you. These uh, seemed actually to be. Well, I, I, I was just noting the seventeen armor class, despite only having leather armor. That's all. Yep. Um, and in total, you can pick up roughly fifteen gold from each of these. Okay, they don't happen to have like written orders or something, do they? <laughs> my my query just ended up being how they had seventeen armor classes despite having leather armor. That's all. Since they only had a touch of eleven. Yep. That's a great question. That is, a great question. is it possible to pick up eight bolts between them? Uh, yeah, sure. And bolts is right. no problem. We feel her quicker then. Do I, yeah, feel, do I feel like picking up any bolts? No, I still have 55. Yeah, how, much, how, much, how much money did you say, Jonas? 15, 15 for each. 15 each, and there was 9 in total we killed. Mm -hmm. So if nobody wants the poisons, then, then we'll take them. Well, I'll take one dose. Yeah. Okay, I will take the other... I mean, if you're never going to use them, I, I might. You, already, you might. I might. Yes. We're gonna get the level nineteen about yes. to fight the final boss. I've been holding these since all the beginning of the game. He rolls then, a one. Yeah, and the final boss rolls a one. He's like, like falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, elves aren't really like immune to sleep. They're immune to magical sleep. Yeah, magical uh, sleep. Yeah. This is poisonous sleep. 
So the thing I'm collecting, uh, the reason why I'm collecting poison is because as far as I'm reading the rules, I can just poison ammunition and use it whenever. Yeah. yeah. But that might be a thing that I might do. You like mm -hmm. make sleeping arrows? Yeah. Basically. And then just, hey, I have a sleeping arrow. I'm going to fire this sure. at this mushroom for no reason. Enemies have two chances of rolling a one whenever you shoot at them. It's better than nothing. Yeah, but rapid shot, the would mean, stuff. rapid shot would mean using two poison arrows, which I guess would be two doses. Yes, yeah. of course. And then you can apply many shot as well. You get another arrow. <laughs> yeah, many shot is weird. I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, you uh, we uh, uh, the first right? attack, you have two arrows on it. Yeah, we, will, uh, we will take it's a the, five minute break here. Okay. Everyone can okay. get some something to drink, visit the bathroom or whatever, and uh, yeah, five minutes. Yeah, woo! Tanaki has 27 gold each. Yeah, assuming that poison doesn't just run out, I might as well take some time to actually oh. make some poison arrows. Oh, time for the wand. Mm. Uh, 27 gold each, if, everyone, if, if we're spending the money. Oh, I'm sure. That's fucking good enough. I'm not going to use another charge of myself. That's fine. That's one. Let's go ahead and thump uh, Rain, rain Claw upside the head. Didius, Ow. give yourself 1d8 plus 1. One the great plus. sword of cure light wounds. Okay, uh, HP change. One... Okay. Average. God damn it, I'm gonna hit you again. <laughs> Bad. Ah! <laughs> I might have armor class, but really, can still hit me. I can touch you, god damn it. <laughs> that, that was not an easy fight, actually. That was not, yeah. I'm glad you killed the two other people. As I said, it's not. It's normally not that bad. It's just that one person I couldn't seem to hit. I kept rolling like ones and twos. Then considering no, your I mean, AO, considering your AOE, it would have been better if we'd somehow manipulated them all into one area. But I figured I would be a better job at distracting. And then you know, massive crit. <laughs> uh, did you say you want to using another dose of healing? Yeah, go ahead and go, yep, go, go ahead and hit yourself again, DDS. There you go. Good. Why didn't you get the fucking nine last time? God damn it! I'm glad I did get to use my teleportation though. Yep. That that was entertaining, just like, oh have. look, I'm attacked by an attack opportunity, teleport. Same. If I missed by melee attack, which makes uh, when I get further up a domain spell I get, with is mirror image. Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna which go makes ahead. that wonderful. That, that's that's go almost as good as Elvin's thing that he did. So I can, uh, like a one out of six, you know, oh, yes. chance to I be missed Alvin. and then teleport away. I there we go. Oh, I get hit, I turn invisible. There we go. Maybe I will become... Virtually immune to uh, to full attacks. There we go. I hit some people with uh, the cure light wound stick. There we go. That right, takes us down hitting. to f 44 charges. Oh no, what will we ever do? Be right back. All right. That was disappointing, you getting hit in the head like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me, rem remind me to kill the Baron. <laughs> well, what we're gonna do it anyway, but <laughs> so, am I reading the draw poison right? If I hit them, they are unconscious for. If they tell 24 the hours? Yes. That's like... Wow. Drown poison is designed to neutralize the target, but the DC is low. Yeah, well, with enough hits, I might as well... Yeah. Someone, someone ate all my chocolate cake. Oh, no. Was it manic? Terrible. I think I ate more than he did. <laughs> what a horrible night to not have chocolate cake. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, me and manic, I baked it together. Uh, by the way, uh, you haven't, uh, unless you you missed it, I have uploaded Blue Horse episode today. <laughs> I know. I, I don't I, think I, I want it. to be watched that. To be so, honest. so now everyone in the world can finally know the horror of Blue Horse. Uh, by the way, um, sheep. Yes. Uh, so you know, if you want to, you can use multiple do doses of poison, and each mul mul multiple do dose can either increase the duration by half its amount or give plus two to its DC. Oh yeah. So, 
I might as well just collect all the draw poison I get, and once we find a boss of sorts, I'll just use stack 50, it. Poison, uh, po uh, 50 doses of draw poison. <laughs> just a super concentrated po poison. You know what? DC 34, or he is unconscious for 24 hours. What? It does say it's cumulative. I can't, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> cumulative? Yes. Is that the word? I'm not sure. The point, yes, that is basically the point is it will stack. You can keep using it. Uh, so Jonas, how would you how would you handle the whole poison ammunition thing? If I just said, yeah, I, I took some time to make some of those arrows, would they just last forever, or do they? Uh, come out? I mean, forever. No. Uh, probably not forever. <laughs> I, oh, I mean, one one dose of poison, like one year off. from now, that would not. I would probably say you can you can pre prepare it a month maybe, and then after that, it sort of has lost its. Yeah, oh, that, that makes that sense. I mean, this this is the wording. Poison it retains yeah. its poison until weapon scores a hit. Until we touch. Yeah, okay. you I mean it's written? I mean, rules as written. Yeah, does, you can leave this weapon poisoned for like ten thousand years, and it, it would, still... would make sense that it disappears over time. Yeah. yeah, that's that's my point. Uh, it's I'm something saying... you prepare like before battle. Yeah, or, or something like that. I would yeah. say, but maybe you know we drow, we have poison use. Oh. oh, and of course, the one exception written. <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wipe okay. off my arrow and then shoot it. What? Uh, I, was, I would say time. for these for these potions, you can prepare. They, they last for 30 days. All right. That should be enough to prepare. Not too many of them, like maybe like three. A good number to have. Did you know that uh, the Gibbs arm? It's a broken arm in bandage in Danish. What? They were what? fighting with Gib. <laughs> Gib's arm. Yeah, Gib's oh. arm. That's a broken arm in bandage. Oh. Well, I can't remember. Someone said, like, you're a yeah, sheep's like the closest one to front. Well, technically, I can see France from my door right now. <laughs> well, I shout the question then. Yeah. What the hell? Just like, yeah, yeah. I'll just shout. Hey! I'll just shout. I'll just shout. Like arm. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I could technically just walk down to the dock and just like, hey, hand this to someone in France and get them to send a reply. <laughs> yeah. But may maybe there might even be French sailors on there. Like, hey, answer me. You're looking for sailors? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a diplomacy check to search for sailors. Yes. You know where I could find some sailors? Yes, they usually <laughs> come out at night. Well, oh, it's timing. <laughs> Speaking of sailors, I was uh, in Hamburg today to watch a musical, not a concert, by the way. Uh -huh. And the uh, the theater was at the Reeperbahn in Hamburg, which is basically a street full of brothels. Awesome. Oh, well, that was fun. So that was what? what? Yeah, there's like a bu bunch of brothels and McDonald's in between and Burger King and then more <laughs> brothels. You know, after you at the brothel, I for one usually go Welcome to the Welcome to Brothel King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have it, uh, have it your way. Sorry. Happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got, oh, your, I got your, I got your mighty kids meal right here. Oh, this <laughs> is kids so meal. Oh God. <laughs> My, yeah. Would you like? Would you like fries? Yeah, like for your a sex? playroom while their parents are occupied. I'll oh. just take this happy meal and go into the brothel. We have a kids area. Yeah, we we have a reading room. Yes. You will. You will enjoy our literature for sure. No. Uh, so yes, sometime during today. Then it's going to make four poison arrows because why they're not. So what did you? Like arm. What did you watch? Uh, it was the Rocky music game. Oh great! The what? Rocky, Rocky Balboa. Oh, oh uh, huh? Rocky the musical that did, is. Did they, it, it was did, actually quite good. Did uh -huh. they sing when they were boxing? Yeah, pretty much. Was it like <laughs> fighting, but singing and boxing instead? I mean. it, it sounds musicals in general sound quite silly, but you, I, I like them. I All right, right. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. We, Jonas, we don't judge you, Jonas. But, by chance, did any of those were any of those drow warriors not dead, but just bleeding out and dying? Uh, I, I mean, technically, most of them. I mean, <laughs> most of them were dead. Uh, you can perhaps find someone alive. Um, Fantastic. We'll de we'll uh, we'll take ten stabilize home. I mean, I mean the the um, um, the power of Agaris has certainly washed over these people a lot that encounter. But you can probably find one that is. Fantastic. Yeah. That, that, that's 
that's all Rillanid wanted, just one. Like a, like right. a, like a Pringle or a Lay's Chip or something of that nature. <laughs> but once you pop, you can't stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shell is commissioned, you know, by a uh, commission, like, you know, there's like a, a forwarding fee, like, you know, <laughs> take the solitary individual and, uh, uh, bad things will happen very soon to him. All right, well, yeah, sure. She can, she can keep him under surveillance, no doubt. Good, 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 good. I mean, we, we might as well be stopping for the night because we need time to, to think about things anyway, right? Before we travel on to the next day, I mean, my goodness. Hmm. I need time to hate everyone. That's what I do, it's part of the drow description. Also, I need to deal three points of damage to myself on this map. There we go. I didn't heal myself up to full. Unfortunately, Drow Warrior 1, the guy who took me down, didn't make it. But that's okay. <laughs> Let's see here. No. We'll stabilize him, give, you know, a, uh, a, re a remnant, you know, a cure light wounds potion just so he can become conscious after he's all bound up in fun and games. I don't know, I could probably heal him. <laughs> nah. Were we talking about? That's okay. She, did, she doesn't. She uh, gone for a little trim. Oh, wow. Nah, don't have to use a don't have to use a spell from Elinary. I, there, I had a potion of cure light wounds kicking around still, and I think this this gentleman of stature and magnificence absolutely deserves it. All right, sure. So you know, over the course of the night, as wounds are being settled and thoughts are being shared and strategy about where to move next, and you know, into the early hours of the morning. I think Ronan really feels inspired and um Professional Librarian. I know I, there's no profession torturer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> librarian. You, you know torturer and librarian are basically the yeah, same thing. Maybe. Absolutely. And uh, you know, Re Rillanid will keep at this. He's looking for the answer to the passcode. Ah, I see. That's right. But, but, you know, obviously he wants to hurt and you know, he's got days. We're gonna be here for weeks. Uh, did we, uh, by the way, know where the uh, Skisra were keeping that important egg sack? Uh, I imagine where they live. All right. I thought it was kept in place special. All right. I, I, I figure where they live next to the white spider would be that someplace special. They, they probably wouldn't want it out of their sight. No. If it was that important. Suddenly a bomb. <laughs> You have, we have set you up the bomb, etc. We're close to Germany, it happens. <laughs> anyway, you know, if he doesn't if he doesn't want to share the answer within a day, that's perfectly fine. We'll just drag him along by uh, Alunary's lizard's tail. I'll keep uh -huh. asking him every night. It's not a big deal. I got Let the li lizard puke on him. <laughs> you know, I, I have my masterwork tools here at Instruments, and uh, I think my character is sufficiently angry. And uh, we'll give it some time. So, so how do the Mikuloid feel about that? Well, I mean, if this is conducted in the open... <laughs> well, I don't think anyone can disguise the screams of terror and agony. Which no, will they, I mean, there's, <laughs> there are certainly ways to muffle such screams, but that might take away from the fun. I mean, Elinary can charm him. That, that might work. I don't think he would believe it. <laughs> <laughs> good cop, bad cop here. Char charm person. I can't. I can't hold him back. He's crazy. But if you talk to me, perhaps she does have the domain. Yeah, she does have the domain spell. So yeah, that's certainly like magically making my friend. You know, he can get out of here if he just tells us the passcode. You know, sure, trust sure, me. sure, that's great. You know, have a night of fun and games of being exposed to. We'll gloss over the minute details of how horrific Rillanid, after a century of learning this craft, can be, but. uh of uh, setting the record straight about really they should have just killed him really would have been the mm. best move and then Alan comes in <laughs> in the morning you know 
or she'll, you know, go and try to cast a spell on him, most likely while he's half asleep, and then wake him up and see if he wants to talk. Charm person. He, uh, he is charm, which he is now considered to be your best friend, I think. Yeah, uh, well, for him. Yeah, Elinary will, will basically, you know, tell him that yes, yes, he can get out of here, and all he has to do really is to to give the information. There's no reason to resist. Just trust, trust her. It'll be okay. He seems to to nod and you know say that uh, Elinary seems to be a very nice person, not at all as that horrible man man with a stone face. That man, he's, he's terrible, terrible. You must help me. Yes, of course she will. All she needs uh, is to is to give him the information he wants, and, and he'll be let go. And I see. I see. Well, 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 what what the, what does she wish to know? The 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 passcode. That's all. All of the people keeping us here want to know. Right, he nods. He says that uh, the passcode is uh, uh, South of praise for my return. It is changed regularly, though. How often has it changed? He, he seems to consider usually once every two weeks or so. It is all at the whim of Lady Sartha. Why did, why did you come in here so deep into the jungle anyway? It's dangerous. Well, you see that uh, Lady Sartha is, uh, well, is concerned that the... Um, the conquering of festival did not go according to her plans. Uh, apparently, uh, something went awry, and, uh, and now she has decided to. He seems to look around, so to perhaps uh, look for opportunities elsewhere. She has not divulged much, uh, but she had ordered some patrols into the jungle. Meryl, and says. That sounds very dangerous. Do you know, is there any any way to come back here? I think we're running low on rations and such. Are there anything stashed around in somewhere in the jungle that we can have re- resupply on our way back? Oh, it seems to think. Yes, um, um, well, at the, um, at the north entrance, uh, there, is a, there is a drow garrison. Uh, they have a small supply cache there, and they guard it. Uh, they guard his entrance towards Wafis. Perhaps if, uh, perhaps if you would seek their aid, they could help you. How loyal are they to, to suffer then? If she sends us in here, that's incredibly dangerous. Would it not be better to defy her orders and, and, and stay back? How, how loyal are they to her? Well, the, the garrison is led by Hestia Sevastia, a uh, relative to the Baroness. Although she does not seem to like that posting much. Uh, rumor has it that Hestia uh, fell into, um, well, uh, fell, uh, drew upon her the displeasure of the Baroness, and so she earned that posting. Oh, that sounds... Uh, are they close? Do you know that? It seems to consider... I don't know. They are of the same family. Uh... It's hard to say. They were lovers. Right. Well, there takes that for what it is. All right. All right. Well, How many have been sent away from from Vathis, Do you know? When are we here? If if this this horrific these things continue and and there is indeed the dangers in here, then how safe is the city now? He seems to not. It is still safe. Uh, the captain of the guard uh, has has it in lockdown. Nothing comes in or out uh, except at the express orders of the Baroness or his approval. We've heard words that some people are not happy with the Baroness, that some people wish that she were not there. Is that true? If If someone were to rise up and revolt against her, against her tyranny, then then how many do you think would follow? Would be a threat? He, he seems to consider... I, I, I don't know. There, there are some uh, some talk that the Baroness perhaps hasn't treated uh, some of the officers uh, as well as she as, as they think they deserve. He 
He seems to consider, I, I don't know how many would rise up, though. That is quite dangerous with someone like Lady Sutha. She is powerful. What, what can she do? What sort of power does she have? Uh, she, she is proficient in many things. We have seen her both uh, swing her mighty sword and use magic. Uh, well, well, uh, just answers. All right. Thank you. You can sleep now. Rest a bit. We'll need Thank the rest. Thank you. Will, will, will you keep me safe from, from the man with the stone mask? Says, uh, yes. Where are you? <laughs> ah, he's here. Help. You must help me. He looks Close your eyes amazing. and be quiet. He can't see you if you don't move. <laughs> Trust me. All right, he, uh, he closes his eyes and like, Promise. Sh- and, like shivers on the ground. Oh, there we'll, uh, we'll stand up and just sort of, uh, you know, there has really been nearby so we could hear what was uh, said. I, I, I think that, you know, for the purposes of selling it, he decided to stay away. But he can hear it if you want. I don't care. Whatever. They can be uh, told sure, anyway. Well, well he, will, uh, he will, she will sort of go and sort of quickly, you know, tell him what has been said and ask if there's anything else he would think we could get out of this person. No, I don't think so. No, I think it's fine. In regards right. like, an information, that's great, though. That's a great job, man, a guy, yeah. with using that. We actually got use at a charm person against Drow. Huh. Perhaps then uh, it is time to uh, to end his life. Yep. Um, do you have any sort of wish to do so? Villain will vigorous. Sort of a villainable <laughs> sort of glance towards the uh, towards the Michaeloid and the and the uh, gnome. Perhaps bloody blooding their hands would be about time. He says sort of. Smiling at the thought of making these so innocent and foolish creatures do something like this. I do am not sure whether they would come to appreciate such a thing. Besides, I admittedly have some stake in the matter. I do remember the polearm all too clear. Hmm. Shall not, and well then, brother, uh, you uh, have kept him alive and worked on him. I think it uh, should fall to you to enjoy his death. Hmm. Nods, you know, with a uh, a parting compliment to Alinari for excellent work at uh, manipulating the uh, the fallen warrior. Yeah, she seems a lot more happy now after after the battle and after this little, little interaction. She she's feeling great. It's like uh, um, yeah. I'm glad she needs some. It's like she let out all the poison and and really yeah. fucking ate it all. <laughs> well, well, obviously, you know, we got to start with the incantation of reaping, following uh, uh, incredibly thin and precise needles and all nerve groups. And yes, that's what we'll call it. That's what I'll call it: the incantation of reaping, basically sculpting the flesh into harnessing the greatest amount of pain possible before death. Does the sample the agony of it all? Yes. Like a fine wine. Right. Well, the terrible screams echo in the night. I mean, Eleanor's uh, Eleanor's mood change is certainly visible to all. Mm-hmm. I mean, really, it's said that uh, if you harness enough pain, you can feel the magic inherent in anyone's soul just by touching the tip of one of those needles. <laughs> it's great, just like a spark. <laughs> <laughs> Almost uh, get drunk. On that sort of thing. Ah, yeah. <laughs> there, there may or may not be any passion involved, you know, certainly not any sort of anger or frustration at being here and being knocked unconscious, but the shriekers a few days back. No resentment. <laughs> so, well, there he's in a new good mood. Well, uh, well, you know, gather everyone after this has happened. Mm. Can we mark this hex as fully explored? <laughs> Figured out to ask Jonas. Yes. Okay, fantastic. All right. Which one? Uh, thirteen or seven? Yep, that's where we are. Oh yeah, I I somehow overlooked the giant <laughs> arrow. It doesn't stand out at all. 